Ladies and gentlemen, today is March 24th and it is WonderCon day. So it is currently 7.30 in the morning. Um, The releases on the Funko.com website are going to be at 9 o'clock. Before that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh what exclusives we're going to be going for. And then obviously once we're doing the checkout process and whatever happens, um, we're going to go ahead and give you guys a recording of that. Um, also, let's go ahead and make ourselves some coffee as we get ready this morning. So around 12 o'clock during my lunch, I'm actually going to go to a few stores to go see if they got their exclusives in. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun today. All right, so we do got to fill up our Keurig. We did not fill it up yesterday, so let's go ahead and get some water in the Keurig. Yeah, I really like the donut shop, so I'm going to go... All right, guys, so now we have our coffee made. Time to go ahead and show you what exclusives we're going for today. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here are the WonderCon exclusives that are coming out this year. So again, this is probably one of the strongest lineups in a very long time. Um, so the first one that I might be going for is probably going to be these two Powerline Funko Pops. As a Disney fan, I just think it's going to be a pretty cool pop to have in someone's collection. Then they went ahead and added this like 25th kind of like uh, anniversary vault edition Lotso, which actually, believe it or not, this is the first Lotso Funko Pop to come out since the OG that has been vaulting has become a grail since. We are probably going to be going for that WonderCon Hedwig. We're probably going to go to GameStop to try to get uh, the cube right here. And we're going to obviously be going for the two One Piece Funko Pops. In Target, we're going to get the Towerette. We're going to be getting the Gojo. And then finally, Groot. We'll probably see if we can try to find them in stores. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be one of the most stressful situations I have ever been put in when it comes to Funko.com. So the only way to have gotten the One Piece Funko Pops is to have literally just gone for them too and then try to check out instantly. If you were to try to go for any other Funko Pop, you basically missed out. I was put in almost a 50 minute wait time period just because I wanted to go check out on other Funko Pops. Honestly, that should not be the way, and Funko needs to do something about that. So after almost an hour, it is 9.57, guys, 9.57. After almost an hour, I was finally able to get these Funko Pops right here. That I got the Lotso, the Powerline, the Gojo, and the Hedwig. But yeah, for any of my One Piece completionists, I have a friend that is a One Piece completionist. I really feel bad for y'all, because these were some of the hardest exclusives I've ever been able to get. And they sold out almost instantly with such a high demand. I was honestly expecting Funko to put a little bit more stock in, similar to what they did with the Luffy with the Thousand Sunny. But no, they did not. It was a pretty bad drop for most people. So right now, guys, let me know in the comments, how did the Funko.com drop go? So it seems like more news is unfolding. A screenshot that was sent to me by my friend exposes that there was actually a bunch of bots on the Funko Shop website that were buying out One Piece Funko Pops, making it hard for people like us that are going manual to get one. So kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we are currently in the car. We're on our way to the mall. We're going to go to GameStop and FYE to see if they were able to get their exclusives in stock and then probably go to Target afterwards. All right, so the first store today we're going to be going to is FYE. Here in the back, they have the Funko Pop Wall, and yeah, they did get in the WonderCon 2023 Poison Ivy Funko Pops. And then here they have the Burning Godzilla Funko Pops. Still have the Queen Historia, bunch of Entertainment Earth exclusive, Hush. And we have Loki with the Scepter, glow in the dark. All right, guys, so we did end up finding the Gelatinous Cube WonderCon exclusive here at the GameStop. They also have a pretty good amount of Funko Pops here at the top shelf. That's some pretty cool uh, t-shirt bundles. They have the Pain one, Bakugo, some My Hero stuff. Bunch of Pokemon at the bottom as well. And yeah. Oh, and they got the Baruto um, Hokage Funko Pops, which are pretty cool. And yeah, they got a pretty good amount. All right, guys, so we were able to pick up um, a few collectibles that i was not expecting to pick up these uh stores over here so fye and the gamestop both had extreme discounts on their clearance items so 
pretty good coming out of GameStop and FYE today. Here, we're gonna go to Target, stop, stop by Target, see what they have. So we have just arrived at the Target. All right, so here we are in the Funko Pop section, and it seems like there is nothing. And then going to this bookend right here where they usually put the new Funko Pops, there is also no Tarot. Probably gonna have to get her online. So sadly, our local Target did not have the uh, Tarot Funko Pop. Um, we're probably gonna have to just buy her online. All right, guys, so it's currently the next day. We're going to Walmart. Well, we're inside Walmart right now, and we're gonna go see if they have the Groot in stock. I think they have another exclusive. So yeah, we'll go ahead into the Funko Pop section and check those out. All right, so we are approaching the collectible section now um wow it seems like they, they've been cleared out of their funko pops i don't know if they had a bunch on discount or something but this entire section was like filled up all right guys that does it for WonderCon. thank you all so much for watching this video please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button we'll see you guys on the next one